திருநங்கைகள் திருநம்பிகள் இறைப்பால் இனத்தவர்கள் உள்ளிட்ட பால் புதுமையினர் கொண்டாடும் பிரைட் மாதமாக பெருமை மிகு மாதமாக கொண்டாடப்படும் இந்த ஜூன் மாதத்தில் மின்னசோட்டா தமிழ் சங்கம் ஒரு அருமையான நாடகத்தை அரங்கேற்றுவதற்கான ஒரு வாய்ப்பை அளித்திருப்பது என்பது மிகவும் பெருமைக்குரிய விஷயமாகவும் மகிழ்ச்சிக்குரியதாகவும் இருக்கிறது மின்னசோட்டா தமிழ் சங்கத்தின் தலைவர் செயலாளர் உள்ளிட்ட அனைத்து நிர்வாகிகளுக்கும் இதன் உறுப்பினர்களுக்கும் என்னுடைய மனமார்ந்த வாழ்த்துக்கள் ஏனெனில் எப்பொழுதும் ஒரே போல பழைய ஊடகங்களையும் அல்லது சினிமா சார்ந்த ஊடக கலை நிகழ்ச்சிகள் மட்டுமல்லாமல் இது போன்ற நாடகங்களை நீங்கள் வழியமைத்து அதற்காக ஒரு இயக்கத்தை நாளை நீங்கள் முடிவு செய்து அரங்கேற்ற நீங்கள் ஏற்பாடு செய்திருப்பது என்பது மிகவும் பெருமைக்குரிய அன்புக்குரிய ஒரு விஷயமாகும் அன்பில்லாதவர் எவருமே மனிதர்கள் அல்ல எல்லா பாலினத்தவர்களையும் மாற்று பாலினத்தவர்கள் அனைவரையுமே பெருமைப்படுத்தக்கூடிய இந்த எல்ஜிபிடிக்யூ பொருளில் நடைபெறும் இந்த நாடக நிகழ்ச்சிக்கு நீங்கள் நாளையும் நேரத்தையும் வடிவத்தையும் கொடுத்தமைத்து என்னுடைய மனமார்ந்த வாழ்த்துக்கள் நன்றி திஸ் இஸ் அ வெரி ஸ்பெஷல் மந்த் டு டாக் அபவுட் தி ரைட்ஸ் ஆஃப் எல்ஜிபிடிக்யூஐ பீப்புள் பிகாஸ் இஸ் அ ப்ரைட் மந்த் and the rights of the lgbtq people are to be protected and ensured only if we want to claim ourselves to be the world of a civilization has already taken place and we are belonging to that world you know the world health organization has been classifying a person being a transgender or a non binary gender as if it is a mental disorder so the civil society organizations and various member states member governments and the european parliament and various other people were continuously insisting to remove the disorder mental disorder being connected to their gender identity or gender incongruence so lately very recently only on 1st january 2022 the icd 11 that is international classification of diseases number 11 has been published which has stated that gender incongruity and mental disorder doesn't go along with it at all so the intersection of mental disorder and the gender identity has been a very serious violation of human rights of the members belonging to the community and it has caused them so much of precarious situations which they did not get proper legal status and there were violations of human rights and their access to opportunities and access to health care was faced a very big barrier and now we have to understand the world is not with a binary gender this is the organisms the nature has got various dimensions we all like hibiscus and lilies you know we don't say the hibiscus and lilies belonging to a bisexual plant nature because those plants have the male and female parts in one plant itself we are not that fools to say that these kind of flowers are not binary kind of plants so similarly we know hermaphrodites which is an organism which has got both male and female organisms that is also available and that is also there in the same world planet earth along with us so when it comes to human beings we are having a very narrow mindset and a an idea which is a wrong notion where we think that other than non binary are not existent at all or even if they exist we don't try to or we don't recognize them as our fellow human beings that is the biggest problem because we are all marred with very narrow mindsets and also due to various socio economic and power dimensions the power dynamics we don't love the other fellow beings fellow human beings as we like our own so this is the problem in the entire world so the lgbtq ai community people have suffered so much of indignity violence of human rights and loss of their status and they did not have opportunity continuously for several 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 long decades and um, for the millennium also so now we are in a situation where we need to understand that they are one among us so let us get a broader idea and thinking and every human being is born with human rights which is indivisible inseparable and it is inborn definitely lgbtqai community people are not an exception at all 
so we have to understand and internalize the concept of human rights for them and we have to ensure that there is no violation since court i have to quote the supreme court words in navteej singh johar judgment in india they said the history owes a an apology for the members of lgbtq community and their families because they were living for a long time in the fear of persecution and reprisal see how barbaric were we and now at least we need to internalize the concept of human rights which is an embodiment of which is very essential aspect of every human being let us start respecting them stand with them fight for their equal rights and justice forever for all the days to come thank you